Imagine you're playing with a toy train set. You want the train to stop when it reaches a specific point on the track, right? Brakes and loop braking in Roblox Studio are like the controls that help you stop things or make your code do different things when certain conditions are met. So as we went over in a few episodes ago, we went over something called loops. They're ways to make our code repeat certain actions or iterate through certain things. However, a break is like a magical button that stops the loop from running whenever we want it to. So let's get started by going right over to server script service, opening up this script right here, and we can get scripting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a for loop. Once again, I'm gonna start off with the keyword for. We're gonna create a variable which will be equal to our starting point. So this can either be starting point or well, yeah, we'll just keep that starting point. That's the simplest way to go about it. And this is going to be equal to one. Now we put a comma and now we need our endpoint to reach. So I'm going to do 10 and, and then we need a iteration number. So I'm just going to do one. So that will iterate at one number per time until it gets to 10. And then we simply say do. And now anything between this for keyword and this end keyword is going to repeat 10 times. So let's print parentheses and then our starting point variable now let's go up to the view tab right up here open up the output and let's go back to home right here and then click on run so as you can see inside of our output it's printing one two three four five six all the way down to ten which is very cool and so now what we can do is let's say we want it to stop at five so we're just going to say if starting point is equal equals to five then so what's going to happen is as soon as the starting point reaches five inside of our script, then what we can do is just say break. What this break keyword does is this breaks the loop when starting point is equal to five, as we see right up here. And let's just print quotation marks. We're going to say starting point is equal equal to five. Now let's click on run. You can see it's going to print out one, two, three, four. It's going to stop and then it's going to print out starting point is equal to five. That's when it breaks. So that is going to break our loop, which will make it stop working basically. Now you can imagine this just like a traffic light that keeps on cycling through green, yellow, and red a certain amount of times, right? Now a break statement is like pressing a button to make the light turn red immediately, which will stop the flow of traffic. So all in all, breaks are used to stop a loop when a certain condition is met. And you can think of breaks sort of like an emergency stop button, or you can think of it sort of like a hammer that will go in and break your loop. However you want to think about it that works and makes sense for you is the right way to go about doing it. If you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Plus, there will be a little quiz down in the comments that will help you practice scripting and just make you improve overall. Thank you once again. Bye.